Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Dead Space. No, wait. Let's play Psychonauts. Hi! Uh, part 5th scene. And yeah, we're gonna do like the chief and finish the fight with this boring brain. I am so sorry, but it is time to finish this. I do not see how anyone find this entertaining. Yes, I do. I'm sorry. It's just I find this a really tedious brain that isn't really fun. Whoa, and this makes me wonder, can she hear me? Yeah, let's play Goodbye Hagatha Home on the evil set number one. Yeah, that one. Oh, sorry. Whatever is wrong, little girl? Well, my family has left me alone in a bad, bad place for many years. And I don't know if they will ever come back for me. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'm sure they'll come for you, and you'll never have to think of that bad place again, ever. Hey, you're right. I think I see them now. Hello, my dear beloved daughter. We have come back for you. Please come with us and be happy and never think of this terrible, terrible place again. Yay! The end. Oh, fantastic. No more of that crap. I'm not even gonna bother with the goddamn figment because I'm so goddamn sick of all of this. Oh, I'm sorry, I have a problem with place. It has to do with my upbringing and the hatred of all the arts, except for video games. So now we're up at the catwalks where we will battle the phantom who constantly sabotages the performance of Bonita Soleil. Oh god, and I forgot he drops the things at us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, da -da 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 -da, equip that one so we can shield. Through his painful, murderous... Thank you very much, Rasputin! You blatant fool! For sabotaging all my life. Oh, I almost fell again. That was stupid. And sad. You cannot harm me, silly phantom. Because I am too strong for you. So let's just do a normal jump here, over here. Perfect, very good. So proud of you, Rasputin. You're so cute. You can see all the floaty figments here. Why it would be so annoying to get 100% and I'm sorry for constantly blabbling, blabbling about not getting it. To remind you that I'm not getting it. Because you would be so anger-faced. This is my sanctuary. Wait, let me see. Is there anything interesting down there? Or is there we we no that's where we came from. Does the rope go anywhere? No. Moving on, getting out of here. Oh god. I am Don't drop down, Rasputin, or you will die. And I will not shed a tear for your mangled corpse. Why did you do that? Come on! I'm platforming! Why is platforming so horrible to me? I just... I just wanna be happy. I wanna find... The, the happiness in my life and you keep jumping off things and dying. Making everyone hate me. Doing all the stunts that you are not able to perf Wrong button, Christ. So up here we have a sensor. Let's just, we have so much health, we can just beat him into a bloody murdered pulp without ever caring. We got the duffel bag tag. So here's the guillotine made of cardboard, apparently. Let's avoid that because it is, it'll still hurt all our young boy body. So let's slide a roo over here to some more platforming jumping goodness. You are the phantom. We have already established this for a fact. And oh my god. This place. 
shows that I am not a good video gamey. I am what's in many cultures known as a nooblet. This is not Dead Space 3, a game which I at least know how to play without dying once ever. Here, however, I die several times on the same place to everyone's disappointment, boredom and something else. There's a crying bag, good for us. Let's just go a little to the left or we'll miss the jump here. And there's the bag tag for said crying bag, right above said crying bag. Jump faster, Rasputin. We are already wanting to leave this place. And up, mega sensors. Let's try to avoid them and chain, chain blast them with our shamanistic powers. Grab the bag tag and smash everything. Yes, there's a vault here too. Glorious fallen star. Gloria, Gloria, Gloria van Guten, Guten Gloria, Gloria alive. Sunshine on the stage, on the cake, and everyone's happy. And she is famous star, and oh, there's the trophy we need. Take a picture of it. And she's sad because her mother committed suicide. And someone was there to take the picture, which was extremely considerate. And she's sad. However, this makes me question why she opens personal mail on the stage. It's... All right, and then she became a Cthulian servant, a beast only nightmares could conjure. And here we are trying to solve her crap. And we are surrounded by sensors. Which is pretty much how it is in America, am I right? Oh, ho joke. No, I'm sorry, it's true. You don't have European freedoms. Trying to jump, trying to avoid being murdered. At least we got an extra life, known as an astral projection layer. So let's see, we can jump over there to get back to where we were, or we can just use the ladder, because we're geniuses. Moving on towards the... Oh god, mega sensor. Oh, but we chain blasted the bumbling, and the bumbling killed him from behind. No, do not want to look out below. I want to move on forward, out of this place. I don't even have anything to say anymore. I I don't know if I... I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, jump. Get back over here. Why we spawned over there is beyond my knowledge. When this is the way forward. I'm just... This place depresses me because this game is... It's a game that is so much fun. It brings me all the happiness. And then this level comes along and it's just... It's being video game sort of boring. Psy power upgrade, offensive shield, enemies who use melee attacks when you're shielded are now knocked back. Pew pew pew! You will all die before my might! And upon your lands, I will spread a blight. I'm saying this because I hate you. You wouldn't say that to a person you loved. Take the elevator. Get off the platform. Open fire on the mega sensor. Let's see how... Yeah. Knock back, biatch. They can take a lot of beatings, them fat guys. Oh, ow. Stupid bumbling. You see, I don't even care about my safety anymore. Okay, so we're going over here first. Right, cutscene. Surprise. How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Phantom? Stop, or your next step will be your last. Okay, let's grab the candle. Let's go over here. It's a sandbag. What are you gonna do? Put the candle in here. And 
light it on fire. Ah, cruel sunlight. Anything but that. No oh, treacherous child. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. That's how I've been feeling about this entire level. I just wanted to shut up and let me punch it. Oh, so walking into a still standing sandbag brings us great pain. So let's put this one over here and this one over here for the rest of our lives. Jumping over here, moving on, there's a violin. It's a beautiful instrument. I saw some at a museum. It was very good. Okay, Phantom, it's time to find out who you really are. Oh, what a clever disguise. What? I totally guessed that. Uh-uh, you said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never... How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years? Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and... thin. He could never be you. Why, you... Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> How can I say this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Brilliant, Rasputin. That was really sassy. Oh god, is he gonna impale our young bodies and hang us rotting on display to warn off other psychonauts? No, he won't. He will shoot words at us. Words that really, really hurt. Boss fight, by the way, if you hadn't guessed. Oh, we, we got the hint. Because we needed that hint. Okay, so he shoots, shoots words. Tedious? I'm not tedious. You're a bad man. What? Crude? I'm not crude. That's a mean thing to say to someone as vulnerable as me. So let's put all the candles into these things. No, they are not. So let's... No, let's not light him on fire. Let's light this one on fire. That'll make him crash down. So he spawns the ads. Which are... Fire dogs. And the thorn flowers. You pay for that one, Spotlight! Yes, screw the spotlight and all its friends. Let's beat up the ads because if we don't, they will bunch up down here and murder us in ways we do not enjoy. You're not good enough and you're fat and nobody likes you. I couldn't do the palm bomb. Let's focus our damage on him as much as possible. Because if we don't do enough damage, he will not destroy the spotlight. And we will have to burn it and do like another face. Which will spawn more adds. But I I just I, I would just like to shoot everything down here. Having everyone murdered. Angry fat critic. That's right. You're an angry fat critic. Nobody likes you. He's good with words, though. Got to give him that. So now he has the bats. So we just shoot the bats. 
No, don't pick my eyes out. There we go. Now this shit is over. What's the matter? Can't you take a little criticism? Very dramatic. Applause. And where would Gloria be without her youth? Her inner sunshine. The spirit of her youth. Played tonight, once again, by Bonita Solange. Now he's just grasping at straws, trying to make us feel bad, sad, and inadequate. Handsome, the spotlight is all yours. I believe I shall happily retire while I'm still young. And so we got our grubby little hands Recognition for my off, talents. on that one. Let's see where she goes. She's gonna join Boyd. You're just gonna stand over here. Okay. You going anywhere, girl? What are you doing out here, Gloria? I can't remember the last time I came out here at night. It's so beautiful, isn't it? These plants could use a little water, though. Now, where's that hose? Okay, she's obviously still crazy. So let's move on. We got one third of our awesome outfit looking like the Lobato. <clears throat> so we still gotta get two pieces. Resembling his face and his outfit. Oh, oh, there's a brain that the crows are stealing. It's all the way up there. How do we get them to bring it down and not fly away? Let's try invisibility, my friends. Let's just go out and in again. Out and in again. Oh, yes. It's the way it works. And it's the way that does make you happy. Shut up. Okay, so they're over there. And I'm invisible. There we go. So we got Milka. Milka's brain. Okay, so this guy is obviously schizophrenic or whatever. He has split personalities. <laughs> what can possibly go wrong? Wait, wait, wait. Let me just. Shh, 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 shh. Don't tell me what to do. General? How do you see me? He does see me as Lobato. Sorta. Oh, 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 okay, whatever. How do you see me? You are a stinking disgrace to your family, stink out. That's a mean thing to say. I am not deserving of such a comment, so I will enter your brain forcefully. Sacre bleu. I have been hit. This is also one of my favorite brains. I don't have like a favorite brain. But I have the ones I like, and the ones I don't care about, and the ones I dislike. This one, together with Lungfishopolis, is one that I actually like. It's funny. Oh. 
So that's his personalities. Two guys playing a board game in a really, really nice fancy room. There's a thing in here, inside the fire. But I can't get in there because of the fire. Do I have like a water splashing power that I have forgotten about? Or is there some way for me to enter here? Can I use... What are you doing? No! Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, screw that. And the next time, we will enter the battle between that guy and that guy, meaning both of them. Thank you so much for watching. Hmm. And I will see you next time on Let's Play Psychonaut Part Whatever. Thank you. See you later.